It's probably the one sound that most homeowners dread hearing. The piercing wail of an activated fire alarm or smoke detector and the immediate realization that it isn't a false alarm. The Steinbach, LeBrokery, and Kleefeld Fire Department spent Friday morning battling a blaze on the third floor of the Collington Park apartment complex in Steinbach. Heather Grauberger lives right next door to the suite where the fire broke out and says initially she wasn't all that concerned when she heard the fire alarm go off. Well, I was thinking it was probably just, uh, it went off in July or something like that and everybody was out and there was no fire so I thought it was, but then my son went out into the hallway and he seen smoke and he ran back in and he, then he went out into the hallway again and he grabbed the fire extinguisher and he went next door but he couldn't see anything in there so he left came back and started yelling at us to get out because there really was a fire. Well, all of us just ran to get dressed because I was just getting ready to go to work and, and and then we left and it was like very smoky in the hallways and it really, it was really stinky. Grauberger says that for her, the experience of fleeing a burning building was somewhat surreal. All I did was cry. I cried and cried and cried and cried. It was like, I don't know, I don't know why. It was just the thought of it. I guess I'm one of those people I hear fire engines going and I start crying because you just you know where they're going and that there's something bad. While the building itself sustained substantial damage, thankfully there weren't any injuries. However, when it comes to Grauberger's belongings, she's hoping that there was minimal damage done. Due to extenuating circumstances, she does not currently hold tenants insurance and depending on the level of damage from the fire, she fears that the contents of her apartment could be a total write-off. I have nothing. It's probably not good. It's probably not good. To make matters worse, Grauberger is currently in end-stage renal failure and depends upon her dialysis machine to stay alive. She was forced to leave all of her medical equipment behind when she fled the fire. I do dialysis about four to five nights a week for 10 hours a night. My machine is in my bedroom with all my supplies and it's, it's pretty important. It's what keeps me alive, but, but I could go. I, I, the longest I've ever gone without doing it is two nights. Grauberger's dialysis regime removes the toxins in her bloodstream, a job ordinarily done by a healthy, functioning set of kidneys. If her dialysis equipment sustained damage or if she's unable to retrieve it, she'll be forced to travel to Winnipeg on Monday for an emergency treatment. It sucks. I wish it hadn't happened. But... For Steinbach Online, I'm Karen Block.